Hey, today we're going to cook this Boston butt uh, pork roast here in this uh, Ronco uh, rotisserie. I don't know if you've ever cooked anything on one of these rotisseries before, but you really got to try hard to find a better piece of meat after you do. So I'm going to show you how we're going to do it right now in a minute. This particular rotisserie here is, is a little different than what I'm used to. We used to have one of those uh, old gray ones, and I think really if I ever watched to buy another one, I'd go back to that. Because this one here, you, that's a little aggravating sometimes. But anyway, it sets like this when you store it and everything with the lid down in it, and you get ready to use it. And you have to make sure you hit this button on the side, and the little feet come out in the back, supposedly and holds it up. Now if you don't do that, no matter what you do, it's not going to cook because it won't start uh, cooking unless it's setting up like that right there. And then you can go ahead and put your top on it. Shut it down. Now you're ready to get ready to put your meat in there. And so we'll fix the meat and get it ready next. Okay, now I'm just going to put some dash on this. I ain't going to get too complicated with it. A lot of rubs and everything, but I do like a little dash on it. Give it a little bit of flavor. Rub it in a little bit. Okay, now we'll put it on these, whatever you call these things, and uh, try to, you want to try to get as even as you can on these things, because that way it'll spin even. So you stick it down on there. Now these things are pretty sharp, so don't let it run through your hand. down there just about like that. I'm going to raise it back up just a little bit. Oh, that's just a little bit too low. Okay, now going to the rotisserie with it. Okay, now all we have to do is just set it in here like that, and your wheel, your your uh, wheel is inside the spindle there, and so your spindle is inside against the gears there, and so then you just set the lid like that, turn the power on after I plug it up. And make sure your drip tray is all the way under, because if you don't have it all the way under, it won't come on. There you go. And so now I'm going to set it for one hour, and then I'm going to start it. And as you can see, it's moving right along there. Now I'm going to let that cook for an hour, and that should do about all I want. Now to tell you the truth, I'm not going to cook this until the complete center is done. This part right in here, I'm not going to cook it until that part right in the middle is quite done. 
because what we have left over, I'm going to make barbecue out of it, and I've got to get me a regular roast, I mean a regular uh, uh, ham roast and cook it, or pork roast, excuse me, pork roast and cook it, so I can mix these two together, and that's what makes a good barbecue. You pull barbecue, you got to mix the Boston butt with a regular pork roast, and then that'll make you some delicious barbecue. If you don't believe me, try it sometimes. We'll check back in a few minutes, see how it's going. All right, you can, uh, well, if you back it up, back it up just a little bit. You can see by the timer, it's been going for about 11 minutes now, and it's already started to drip, and the color's changing on it some. This is going to be a good Boston butt right here. Here it is after 34 minutes, and you can see it's really dripping down, and really changing color, and it sure does smell good. I wish we, I wish we had smell o vision here on the two. Okay, it's been cooking for an hour now. I'm gonna raise the lid and take my handy dandy thermometer here and check it. It says pork should be 180 degrees. So we'll see what it says here. Over here on this end. Uh, let's go have to go a little while longer. And check this end. Yep. In the middle of course it's gonna be the coolest part. It's about the same really all the way through. So it's up to 140, so we'll go have to let it go just a little while longer. So we'll put the lid back down. Set the timer for I'm gonna try about 25 minutes. There it goes. Now it'll probably be done before then. I'll check it again in a few minutes just to see. Okay, it's been work working for about an hour and 25 minutes now. Let's see here. Oh yeah, that's going right on up there now. Get in the middle of it good. Yes, 160 easy. Like I say, I really don't want the middle real done because when I take and start to make barbecue out of it with another piece, I'm, it's going to be uh, have to heat it up a little bit more anyway. So it's about 140, 145 in the center and about 160 on the ends. So we'll take it out and see how it is. Now we'll take it out, and this is where you got to be very careful. I've got these heat resistant gloves that comes with this uh, particular rotisser, and you just have to pick it up underneath it and take it out just like that and carry it over to a plate and set it down on the plate. Being very careful not to burn yourself. Okay, now you can see I've got it over here and you pull these things off and these things are very hot. Okay, and then you just take your hand and put it on here and pull this one off just like this. So it's over there like that. Now I can't express enough to you people this thing is hot and it will hurt you if you, if you touch it. So don't be touching those things when you take them out like that. So I will just cut these strings off here. Slice a little bit off the end here. I 
Well, look at our folks, that's a nice looking piece of meat right there. And so is that. And now I'm going to turn it around and cut off the other end. Now that's what we're going to eat tonight. And like I said, I'm going to save the rest of this in the middle here for when I make barbecue. I'm going to cook me another roast and mix them together. And that's why we're going to make barbecue. And that's why we do it around the house. And I hope you do it around your house like that sometimes. And make you a, a, a roast and, and run on a rotisser. You'll probably like it. So thanks for watching my video. And I hope you watch more of my videos. And if you can, give me a thumbs up. And please join my channel. Until next time, see y'all later. Oh, if you want to know what that noise is, I'm over here. I'm using my hot air, I mean my uh, power air fryer. Make me some french fries to go with this pork, and we're fixing to chow down. See so y'all have a good evening now. Goodbye.